Go. Hey, this is Dinoman117 bringing you another Nerf review. Um, sorry if I've been away. It's just, there's times where I want to do a video, but then I chicken out for some reason. I just decide I don't want to do it then, but this I do want to review on. I just got this yesterday. Day it is the Nerf Zombie Strike Z Squad Long Shot CS12. Here's a cartoon picture of the blaster. And with the Z Squad, it's the background's a whole lot different. It is green and black, while the other one's orange and black. And it's a Clis clip system, the second um, clip system in the Zombie Strike series besides the Sling Fire, which the, that will be my next review. Um, so I got this in my, in a, near the closest target I was able to. Um, but on the website I looked at, it said this blaster wasn't going to hit stores till 8, 15, 14, um, or that was going to be when it's online, I don't know, but I found it early and I got it, and also it's a long shot, it's going to be this, mostly the same long shot from back in the day around like 2006 is when it came out in the blue version and then later on it they reintroduced it in the yellow so this may be like the third version maybe if I would call it the third version but it's up to you whatever you want to call it so um yeah like it still has the target but as you see in the front it does not include the extra front piece or the bipod, which I actually glad they did not include. So if there's any kids who didn't get the past long shots, I guess you can get it now, but in this elite form then. Um, so on the back, it's like the blueprint. Um, if I'm not going to read it, um, but if you want you can pause it while you can look at it and for the mission and then over here it tells you about the Z squad the ZED squad um so you can pause it if you want to and look at it um but when I was opening it I kind of destroyed the box so and it's and the new zombie squad, the Z Squad series, is only at Target. It's only at Target, like the first two, first three releases of Zombie Strike stuff. Um, so here's the blaster. It comes with a 12 dart mag. Um, right now I just have a six mag mag with no ammo in it. Um, but something new is of course the paint job. Um, the scope isn't as wobbly as it and it stays on pretty good. Um, and actually if you ever got in the long strike how, how when you cock it you can fire it faster. Well this is that What's in there also has been put in to this, plus it doesn't say long strike um, CS12 up here. They just sanded that off, but how you can tell it's the original mold is A, it says end strike down there. I don't know if, if the lighting's better or not, and also it says right on 
on their 2006 Hasbro Made in China, of course. But by what it's like a long strike is how it was more free of fire while the old one, which I actually have, I tried to turn it into a pulse rifle, but epically failed. Couldn't get the under part, so I don't have the bipod or the thing. But if you notice, okay, I got cocked, and three, two, one, it takes a few seconds for it to, like, have the spring all the way back, and then you can cock it again. Um, so, you're like, but wouldn't it be the same as it since it's like the same blaster? Not really. So I got it cocked. And this is stock. I did not mod this. I'm not a modder, because I will not go into the blaster and take things out because for me it just it's hard to remember where it goes and too complicated for me. Uh, so this is stock. I can fire it a lot faster. Um, but the ranges of it may still be the same around like up to 48 feet or under is the dart range for that. I I did look at reviews of this so I so I can understand what it's like, so I can, so let's just hop into the firing. I will fire my old one first so you guys can get the idea. Oh, wait, before I do it, um, this, the Z squads come with new darts, so it looks like it's a syringe, so has the Nerf logo, and it has like 10cc, 20cc, 30, and 40cc on the side, so it's like a syringe or something like that. So I just wanted to point that out. And you can still store clips in the bottom like the old one. So that's kind of nice. And that blaster already jammed on me two times, but... I fired it again a few times today, and it's and it's working. So I got it cocked. That only went. Um, if you can see, it went down to near the weight machine, maybe a little past. Almost close to the wall. That okay? That one hit the wall. And I'm just holding it straight since. We're in a low area. Maybe I'll back up some. Okay, those were six. And then here's Oh, um watching the time I can't do uh, twelve of them like I was gonna plan to so I can so I'll just fire six of these again. So I want to say three of them hit the wall down there. So here's, oh, it is a little bit harder to push it to load the dart in. That one close to the wall, that, that hit the wall. So that was two. Three, four, five, last shot, and six. So, like the blaster curved a little bit, but basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and they all basically made it near or close to the wall down there. Um, so it has been a little bit modded, but if you think it's not worth it, it is worth it for like $35. So if you want it, go buy it at 
Target, it's only in stores, so. And then there's other zombie strike things. So, this is Dino Man 117 signing out.